here, I know that we have a very special gift that arrived special delivery moments ago, and we think you're really going to like this one. Joe, music, please. John Travolta, that was a surprise. And John's uh, words to me, the very, the, the spirit of the show and the energy, it was just really, you know, one, that's one of those things where you just say, okay, let me just sit back and try to relax into whatever this is going to be. Okay. So here's a toast. Yes. To the most wonderful person in the world, oh. Oprah Winfrey, our friend. You represent the best of our country and what's possible in our country. But more importantly, you are a citizen of the world, and you are a hero to mankind. So we are better for, for knowing you, Oprah, we are. And to boot, you are beautiful, you are sexy. Yes. <laughs> she looks hot. She looks hot. You you look hot. Look hot. And we, we love you so much, we can't take it. <laughs> Cheers. Very nice. Cheers. Cheers. I'm always conscious and cautious about, you know, creating this whole thing to look like, oh, it's all about you, it's all about you. And uh, I just decided that day, forget it. It is all about me, so happy birthday to me. I'm 50, <laughs> really. This next surprise and gift flew all the way in from Switzerland. Switzerland. To tell you something, <laughs> that you are simply the best. <laughs> I think the magic of the show is, is that it really did feel like a birthday party. I would agree with TV Guide on that. I felt like I was an, an invitee to my own party. It felt like everybody's included. There's someone that I know that can do a much better no. job of yeah. singing no. No. his song. That, that song? <laughs> I did my show last night. I have a show today. But besides my wife, you're the only woman I would fly eight hours to spend five minutes with. So happy I think we did okay with the surprises I today. Out. I got a surprise headache. <laughs> I got a surprise headache. You know, I, 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 I'm not handling this well. <laughs> For somebody who doesn't like surprises. I don't like surprises, but y'all did pretty good. <laughs> and you know what that, what that 50th birthday celebration did? It really opened the door, I think, in a major way to women being able to say out loud they were 50, because we were making a lot of noise about turning 50, and to not be embarrassed by it, and to literally embrace it. That's what I think that, that show did. I think it did, it was more than just a birthday party. As Maya Angelou taught me, 50s are everything you've been meaning to be. So to deny that uh, number, to deny your growth and your aging process is to deny life for yourself. So that's, that's really what that show did.